Good day. My name is Danilo B. Sudar Jr. and this is my report about Introduction to Chemistry and Measurement in a subject of Chemistry for Engineers. So, the definition of chemistry. It is a branch of physical science that deals with the study of the composition, properties, and changes in matter. Chemistry is sometimes called a central science because of its role in connecting the physical sciences with the life sciences and applied sciences such as medicine and engineering. Okay. The significance of chemistry. Significance of chemistry. Chemistry plays an important role in many areas of engineering and technology. Selection of materials and in designs of structures in civil, essential in and and in understanding of how Elections flow as basis of electricity. Chemical reactions involve the manufacturing of different products, food, beverages, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, polymers, plastics, paints, etc. in chemical engineering. Now, the scientific method. Chemistry as a science employs scientific method as a systematic approach to research to research orderly and systematic approach to gather information in order to answer questions about the world, make observations about nature, derive a uh, hypothesis or build a model in response to observations, construct experiments to bolster the or refute hypothesis or model. Now, matter. Matter is or anything that occupies space and mass stuff that makes up all the material things that are part of our lives, composed of tiny particles called atoms. Extensive, and extensive properties and intensive properties. Now, extensive properties depends on the amount of material present, while the intensive properties do not depend on the amount of material present. There are two other two types, that is the, which is the intrinsic, intrinsic and extrinsic properties. Now, intrinsic properties, inherent properties of substance, best ident identified matter, depend on the kind of material. Um, permanent properties of substance include taste, odor, color, melting point, boiling point, crystalline structure, viscosity, solubility, transparency, atomic or molecular diameter, etc. Now, the in in extrinsic properties, qualities that describe the outside appearance of matter not the characteristic material itself. Their examples are size, shape, length, and mass. Those are the ex extrinsic properties. Now, the states of matter. Um, here we have only three state of, states of matter, but nowadays they say that there are already four states of matter because plasma is included. But we will focus on the three here. Now, solid. Solid def def have definite shape, and rigid and have definite volume, particles are close together, like the picture, and particles can hardly move, very low kinetic energy, high density, and not affected by pressure. The second is the liquid. The liquid assumes the shape of container, have definite volume, um, fluid are able to flow, particles are close, are close, particles are mobile, low kinetic energy as well, high density, and less affected by pressure. Now lastly is the gas. Gas have indefinite shape, indefinite volume. Particles are far apart, particles move fast, high kinetic energy expands to fill the container, and have density depends on pressure. Mm. Now, matter occupies space and possess. Possesses mass, made cis and solid liquid gas, as, as I said earlier, have two properties or is divided by two, which is the pure substance and mixture. Pure substance um, have matter, uh, matter having an invariant chemical composition and distinct properties, while mixture matter consisting of two or more pure substances that retain their individual that retain their their individual identities and can be sus suspected by physical methods. Now, the pure substance is divided into two as well. Element and compound. Element is the fundamental substance cannot be separated by into simpler substance by chemical methods. 
while the compound substance composed of two or more elements in fixed proportions can be separated into simpler substance and elements and only by chemical methods. Same with the mixture is, all, is also divided into two homogeneous and heterogeneous. First, let's focus on pure substance. Pure substance consists of only one type of matter, as I said earlier, has a definite or constant composition, has a distinct properties, can only be separated by physical means, and can be an element or compound. Now, the element composed of only one type of atom, fundamental substance from which all materials are constructed. Simplest form of substance is that cannot be composed, cannot be separated into simpler substance by chemical means. We have 150 known elements and represented by their cells. This is an example of the, of a, of the table. Now, compound. Compound are substances that compose of two or more elements chemically combined in definite and constant proportion. A pure substance because all of the part particles in the compound are alike. Elements that make up the compound lose their identity due to chemical change. So I hope you're with me. You're still with me. Next is the mixture. Physical combination of two or more substances in which the substances retain their distinct properties, do not have any constant composition, do not, cannot be represented by chemical formula, can be separated by physical means, can be natural or artificial, can be homogeneous and, or heterogeneous. Now, the homogeneous has a uniform appearance and composition. Example is solution, like sugar, Sugar solution, salt solution, vinegar, acid, which is combined with acetic acid plus water, rubbing alcohol, which is combined with isopropyl alcohol and water. Same with air. Now, the, well, the heterogeneous does not have a uniform composition. Like, um, it's not fixed. Uh, their combination is not fixed. But I have to understand that. Now, colloids, characterized by a Tyndall effect, scattering of light, B, Brownian movement or zigzag random, zigzag random motion of particles. Examples are paints, smoke, fog, gel, styrofoam, mayonnaise, gems, suspension. Particles are larger than colloids. Particles settle down and form precipitate. Measurement. Bring the measurement. Me measurement is a collection of quantitative or numerical data that describes the property of an object or event. It is made by comparing a quantity within a standard unit. Measurements inherently include error, which is how much a measured value deviates from the true value. Now, this is, we have an example of uh, measurements here from factor, prefix, symbol, and some examples. Here as well is another example. Now, significant figures. All digits reported are considered significant except for certain types of zeros. So the scale here below uh, scale given here is less precise and so the rectangle's length should be reported as just 3.8 cm. This measurement has just two significant fig figures, the 3 and the number 8. It is considered to be weaker, less valuable measurement than 3.76. Now, when a zero is established, the decimal place, it is not significant. 51,300 51, meters have three significant figures, which is 5, 1, and 3 only. Uh, another example is 0 0.043 grams. Only two significant figures, which is 4 and 3. I hope you get this. Like that significant scientific notation is like that. Scientific notation, I uh, used to silly write every small and every large number. We have no time in. Temperature scales. Mm, accuracy and pre precision. Correctness and Reproductivity. That is all. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. See you in the next one.